Hey everyone, thank you for watching this video for your tropical update. I'm meteorologist Marco Lomano. We're looking at three systems right now. The first is, of course, tropical depression now, Julia. Now, as of the advisory of, as of this video, winds are 35 miles per hour. It needs to be at 39 to be a tropical storm. So it's recently weakened to that. It's not expected, even if it becomes a tropical storm again, um, it's not in the intensity forecast, but it's still within the realm of reason. Um, it's not expected to really intensify too much. The path is pretty amazing. Take a look. The, the official path is for it to curve and just kind of meander around. But look how big that cone of uncertainty is. When you see a big circle like that, that's where, you know, instead of just seeing a cone, when you see this kind of big sphere, that's saying, you know, there is a lot of uncertainty, more so than usual, going several days out. Because even though the official forecast has it, Looping around, you know, some models have it moving to the east, to the northeast. It could maybe head more to the west. I mean, so this is one of those times where we have to say, you know, you know, it, it, we know it's going to go east for maybe a day or two, but after that, up in the air, it looked like it was going to dissipate, moving north, but then it moved back out to sea. So at this point, we have to say, this is kind of uncertain. We'll watch it. It's no immediate threat to us, and it's not a very strong storm, so nothing to worry about, just one to watch. Also, Tropical Storm Ian winds at 50 miles per hour. This is just going to be a fish storm. It's going to dissipate within the next day or so. As it moves to the northeast, winds will intensify, but it's going to get absorbed into some other system, so no big worry there. Tropical Depression 12, now that's something we're going to watch as far as a long-term interest. Right now, winds are at 35 miles per hour, moving to the west at 15. Pretty big system here, and it's looking a lot better. Uh, pretty decent shot that it'll, uh, that it'll become a tropical storm in the next several days. I mean, it looks like it has a very high chance for it. And this is the official track for Tropical Depression 12. You'll notice more of a westerly track, but the official forecast doesn't have it getting that strong. Even on day five, 45 mile per hour winds, it will be Carl if it becomes a tropical storm, which it's very likely to, but it's going to encounter a lot of resistance despite the warm waters. So here we are on the Sun Coast. It's moving more staying more south as of right now. Now some long-range models show this Bermuda High weakening and then this lifting to the north. Still too early to say. I like that I'm seeing a lot of models that are saying that. Still a little too early to say so. I don't want to even say it's a long-term concern. It's a long-term interest for us. All right. So we'll be watching it. We're very interested to see where it goes, but it's nothing to worry about right now, and we have plenty of time to watch it. This is where we're at right now with the storm names. We'll see you again tomorrow with your next update.